Yep, Mark Nobles. Charlie Gaskin. Good to have you in Dorchester. Welcome. Well, it is awful good being here again. Well, we got a good quail hunt lined up for you. Well, I understand that. What I'd like to do here is, uh, everybody, my name is Captain Mark Noble with Captain Mark Noble's Outdoor Journal. I'm here with a great friend of mine. This is Charlie Gaskin, one of the owners here at Dorchester Shooting Preserve up here off exit 76 on I-95. I've been here many times, and Charlie, I tell you, this is a great family-run business, and we're, we just have a ball every time we show up. Well, good. We enjoy, always enjoy having you. Why don't we shoot around the sporting clays before we go shoot quail? All right, let me grab my gun, and we'll okay. head on out there. Good, good. Boy, I'm sure looking yep. forward to this. You know, it's awful nice having a skeet, trap, and sporting clays range right here available. So when you get ready to do a little bit of hunting, you can do a little warm up right before you go. Oh, yeah, our members really enjoy this so much. And this is all food crop for the quail right here, isn't it? All this food plots. That well, looks pretty good, Chuck. You got a couple bullets already, Chuck? I got enough for this, yeah. Mark, do you prefer the right side or the left side? Uh, I shoot left-handed, so I'll stay on this side. Okay, that's fine. Right and left-handed shooter makes a good pair, doesn't it, Chuck? You got it, buddy. You know, a lot of people don't think about that when you know when you're when you're going hunting like this, Chuck. That you know, if you got one person that's uh, right-handed or one person that's left-handed, it makes a good pair to have a left-handed shooter with you. Looking a little birdie there, ain't it, D? Oh, look at there. Look at that out there. Look at here. Look at that, look at that dog back. And now what's going on right here, y'all? You see your dog up here on the point. And the dog way over here to the far right is honoring the point. D, these dogs are working great right here. This is That's pretty dog work. Good shot, Captain Mark. Good shot. Well, looky there, big old pheasant. That was a pretty good surprise right there, Chuck. A nice rooster. Well, look here, D, you need to let us know we're going to be getting on pheasant now. Well, you know, here at Dorchester, we had these continental pheasant hunts. After a pheasant hunt out here, those birds that get away, and you pick one or two up occasionally on a quail hunt, it's always a nice surprise. Boy, I tell you, you can tell I got that bird we got a little bit of well that dorchester snow blowing by us right now what we call but, uh, uh, south georgia snow and that's a nice rooster bird right there sure is y'all ready flush brandy ready heel Nice shot, Chuck. Look at here. Here. That's where that 28 gauge comes in hand. You got that other bullet in, doesn't it, Chuck? It always helps to have a second shot, Mark. Oh, look here, look here, look here. Look at that. In here. Whoa. Let him creep up. He's in, Lou Jack. D, how you want us to take this right here, buddy? 
can't check the slide just to the left there a little bit. Brandy, whoa. Bring you right in there behind that lab. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, that is that is gorgeous right there. That dog is, I mean, Easy, froze Jay. solid right there. Easy. You know, again, that dog's honoring that point of that lead dog right there. We ready, gentlemen? Easy. Flush, Brandy. Chuck. <laughs> Good shot, Captain Mark. Good shot, Chuck. Ready, heel. Leave it. Leave it. Ready. Leave it. Another one of them nice surprises. Reckon we can find some birds somewhere on down the road here, yes, Chuck? Yes, sir. Well, you know what? This right here wasn't a bad little old stop. Absolutely not. That was fun. You know, D said we ought to stop here and check this place out, you know. D's all right. I don't care what all the other guys say about him, but he's okay. I think he can find us some birds, don't you? I think he's all right. Let's go find Let's some. Whoa, Randy. I'm going to come right on through here and try to turn this away from the, the Jeep that's back over this way. Right this way, Chuck? Crazy, we walked by that, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Hard to believe, isn't it? Well, the scent conditions are terrible. They can't; those dogs, they just can't smell right now. Daddy. Hey, Clean miss. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't say anything. Nice double. Did you shoot Chuck? Big comeback. That should be right, shouldn't it, Mark? Yeah. <laughs> that right there is pretty good, too, Chuck. That was Chuck. nice. That was good shooting, Mark. Yeah, I could hear a lot of birds right back in here by this head right now, and they're just calling. So I know D went back to the Jeep. I think he's going to switch out some dogs right now. That was a nice cover. We'll get in, we'll get in and chase these singles down. We'll probably get a lot of birds out of this. Well, I can tell you, this right here looks pretty sweet, Chuck. It's nice. Well. Over there, running across the ground. Don't worry about the Jeep. Ready. Still birds on the ground here. Get ready. Brandy. Flush, Brandy. Bird, bird. Brandy. Let's move right on. If you're planning going quail hunting down here in southeast Georgia, there's probably a few things you might want to consider before you go quail hunting. And, and really what I'm talking about is your shotguns. You know, in this case right here, you know, there, there's many traditional guns that's been used for many, many years, but of course you got automatic guns now and you got side by side guns, you got over and unders. There's just a whole bunch of choices out there. And really the best thing I can say is just shoot the gun that you feel better to shoot with. Many times you're going to find that when you're hunting these quails, you're shooting in qu close quarters. So you really would like to shoot more open choke gun. Perhaps you'd want to shoot a skeet or a improved cylinder type choke. Now, you know, many guns come with improved cylinder, modified, and full chokes. Well, most of the time, if you're shooting an automatic weapon or semi-automatic, you're going to want to look at shooting probably the improved cylinder choke in a semi-automatic gun. And in this case right here, with an over and under, you might want to consider putting a skeet uh, choke in one barrel and an improved cylinder in the next barrel. 
This right here is a 28 gauge over and I mean uh, over and under shotgun, and this is very well. Th this will handle quail hunting very well. You know, 28 gauge is an off brand, and many people don't have 28 gauges. But for y'all that do quail hunting down here at Dorchester, this is a great gun to use. You know, improved cylinder in one, skeet bore in the other. Now, also a lot of people, you know, have the old guns. Or the older style gun, which this is the probably the older style. You can see this is a side by side gun, and this is a 20 gauge. Now this is probably the most popular type gun to use uh, for many many years was a side by side. And of course, if you can get with either improved cylinder, improved cylinder, or improved cylinder and modified, you know it'll work fine. 20 gauge is a great gun and a great load for shooting quail. Now a lot of people hunt for you know ducks and pheasants and in doves, and really when you think about hunting for quail, you'll probably want to think perhaps using something like a, a dove load for quail hunting. You know, in this case right here, this is a higher brass seven and a half load right here, but this will work fine, but also a regular field grade load will work. Seven eighths out shot, and these uh, these 20 gauge shells will work fine. And also for these, uh, these 28 gauges, you can see, look at the difference right here in the size of these shells, a 28 gauge versus a, a 20 gauge. These two shells right here is probably my number one picks for quail hunting. Number eight shot, in my opinion, is preferable. Now some people do shoot nines and some people go all the way down to about seven and a half. You don't really need to go anything off of that because you want as many pellets in your pattern as you can get. And remember, for quail, it doesn't take a large pellet to knock the bird down. So next time you go quail hunt, you'll probably want to consider maybe an over and under, maybe a semi-automatic, perhaps a pump, or either the old side-by-side. -side. And I think you'll find these will be the proper choices for your quail hunt the next time you go out. There Look at there. Nice shot, Chuck. Tennessee Red. You need to see one of these, Captain Mark. Well, Chuck, I was looking right over your shoulder on that. That looked pretty. Wait till you see this bird. This is a different bird. That's the male bird. A Tennessee red. It's a different variety. You can see the, the white throat on the male. Mm-hmm. And the, the females. All, all solid red. Colored up completely different. We released those earlier this year. And they're, our customers like to call them Tennessee rockets because they're so hard to hit. They're flying so fast. It's incredible how fast they fly. I tell you what, he came out there like a rocket. Fun bird. A little bit of variety in there, too. You want me on the far side, D? Probably, because you ain't going to be able to see nothing in the dog film. If they roll over, you're going to be better off shooting over there. Brandy. Dutch, in here. There we go. Got a point right here. Whoa, Brandy. Dutch, whoa. Is that over there? Oh, yeah. Flush, Brandy. Bird, bird. Wow. I got this one down here at the end too, D. I still hear birds on the ground around it. That was one of those right there that just kind of gets your attention right there, D. Here. There we go. I'll go past him, Mark. All right. Yes, sir. Flush, friend. Honey. 
Get him, Chuck. There we go. That was pretty, Chuck. Yeah, I was trying to lean. I got on that on that mound right there, and I couldn't get turned hardly. Here, whoa! Brain. Honey, Brain. Honey, Brain. Bird right there. It is. Bet they didn't stop till they got to the woods either, Mark. They probably didn't check. It looked like when they got off the ground, they had one thing on their mind. That's make. There we go. I rocked his world. Yeah. Right there. Yep. Right, Randy. right when that bird came up, Sam was trying to point ahead of us up here. Randy. That bird might have got up or what? There we go, right there. Whoa, Moon. Right through the tent. Randy's got this one. I got the tree. <laughs> that was a nice tree. Did you get him, Chuck? I mean, right in the middle of the tree. <laughs> Jack's on him. Hey. Good shot, Mark. That's a good covey. That was beautiful right there. That was gorgeous. Hey, Mark. Mark. Red Rocket don't want to go down. He's going, though. Watch him. Ooh, there, it's there. over now. Brandy Hill. Chuck! Brady, heel! Chuck! Ready, Mark. Watch, Brady. Hey! Good draw! I'm telling you. Brady, heel! Yep, right Randy. over here. Yeah. Hunter Brain. I see him running in there. There you go, bird, bird. I couldn't see nothing but sunlight just there in. Mark. Man. Hey, Brandy, hey Chuck, they just keep coming and coming, buddy. I'm telling you. Next time I leave the Jeep, I'm going to have me a double pocket full of bullets. Lou Jack's pointed here again. She says, there ain't no birds left in here. There they are. I couldn't shot. I'd have shot the Jeep. He's down, Mark. Yeah. She was about to, she was about to come back. And you said dead. She took off in there after him. She got him, too. Nope. She didn't get him. Didn't get him, Chuck? No. But he's laying right there. She'll find him. Man, heel. Heel. That was a red. Yeah, that's a red. Randy, heel. There you go. Flush, Randy. There you go. Shot. 
Randy Hill. A shot over there? Yeah. He had another one that he really peppered hard. Anyway. Yeah, that last one, dude. I'm... There he is right there, live bird. Well, Chuck, as always, <laughs> quail hunting has been absolutely outstanding. That was a good hunt. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of water out here. You know, it rained two or three days ago pretty hard, but even so, I mean, man, this was this was this was good stuff. Yeah, you notice as the morning went on, the sitting conditions got better and the dogs did great. Yeah. We had a good guide. It was we ended up having a great morning. And them Enjoyed last two having... cuts, them last two covey rises, Chuck. <laughs> man, that that was awesome. Well, dog gone. You know what, Chuck? I don't think I got very many bullets left. I think I shot. Uh, over two boxes of shells today, Captain Mark. Well, that's the last one I have right there. <laughs> I have a few left, but there's not many. Yeah, it's about time for a cold drink. And... I'm glad to get back and lighten this load. Go to the lodge, and Miss Betty's got some wonderful lunch cooked, some oh, good fried chicken, hush. collard greens, and all that terrible stuff that tastes so good. D, what are you pulling out of there, buddy? One or two of these old dead Bob Whites and an occasional Tennessee Red. Oh, Every now and then, even a blind hog, find an acorn. He's still pulling them out, Chuck. <laughs> that that was a heck of a walk right there. I mean, to see that, Chuck, that was that was something else. Well, everyone, on another good hunt. <laughs> an, another good hunt. Everyone, I I, I want to take just a second here to introduce you to our guide today here at Dorchester. This is D. Frenchy. D. You know what? Every time I tend to go with you, we do pretty doggone good. I don't know if it's just accidental or just coincidental. It's just good dogs. Oh, good dogs. Well, look here. If you like hunting quail and you come to Dorchester, if D is available as a guide, you know, ask to hunt with D because he will absolutely show you some fantastic dog work and definitely a good time. And Chuck, it's you, good again, Captain Mark. There's great. nothing more I can say. Saw a lot of birds. Yep. It's great. And you know, as far as people's concerned, you know, from right now, right all the way to March 31st. You can call Dorchester Sheet and Preserve and come down here and get some of these quail for yourself. Absolutely. Do you still got some availability and whatnot on pheasant hunts as well? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We, we got plenty of room on pheasant hunts, and we have um, plenty of room for uh, quail hunts as well. Well, that's good. And, you know, he's got the duck hunts going right now. I think Chuck may be full up, but if absolutely. you want to try duck hunting, you might want to call Dorchester, uh, Dorchester in case they have a cancellation. But as always... If you want to come to Dorchester and have a great time afield, you know, consider bringing the family with you because this is the place to come if you really want to have a good time. You know, the more people know that Chuck's here, it, the better off it'll be. The Dorchester Shooting Preserve is owned by Chuck Gaskin and Charlie Gaskin. It, it's a family business, and it's a family place to come. But anyways, y'all, I hope you enjoyed the quail hunting show that we had right down here in southeast Georgia. And, and of course, Dorchester just located right here off I-95 on exit 76. So maybe y'all want to stop on by and enjoy a little bit of this for yourself. But my name is Captain Mark Noble, and for Captain Mark Noble's Outdoor Journal, I hope to see you again next week. I got a box of shells in my pocket just like I didn't even know I had nothing in there. Well. I was picking and choosing my shot the other day, too. I killed two doubles with that 410. Brandy! Look at him with a cut. Holy smokes! I think you got that. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> Chuck, do you think D can take us to the birds or not? What in the world? <laughs> Park on the birds. The and only problem is we didn't get to shoot. Did you? I, I got okay. to see them. I mean, they all got up right here and they flew about 80, 90 yards all the way to the timber. And they're not going to give us a chance, Chuck. <laughs> Welcome to Dorchester. That's what I say, Mark. You know? <laughs>